Social media is all fun and games until you consume content from that side of the internet. Yep, you know it. You know when you switch from motivational you got this posts to the toxic positivity side of Instagram. One example of the toxic side of social media is Andrew Tate. Now, we may have a Bugatti, but we're still going to do a deep dive into the man. So let's get started. First off, let's find out why there's still some remedial Andrew Tate presence on TikTok. It seems like this Despite the ban placed on Andrew Tate that ended up wiping social media from Andrew Tate and his presence, but it really just feels like a game of whack-a-mole and it seems like TikTok's losing. Yep, you heard us. Despite making a previous commitment to do so, fresh data indicates that TikTok is failing to take action against users that publish content that is misogynistic and features the banned influencer Andrew Tate. With a combined 250 million video views and 5.7 million followers, the Center for Countering Digital Hate Analysis uncovered over 100 accounts that routinely promote videos depicting Tate. Yep, a hundred or more. That's a lot. Now, why is this such a problem anyway? If there are individuals who share Tate content, what's the issue with that? Now, while we're all for freedom of expression and free speech and all that, there's a line, you know? While we support your right to say what you've got to say, no matter what we feel about it, it should always be respectful, kind, and reasonable. Hate speech should have no place online or in real life. And on those grounds, Tate's content doesn't really, let's just say, align with these values. Still, don't know what we're talking about? Let's give you some examples. Tate stated in a video that was viewed 2.5 million times that women should take some responsibility for rape or sexual assault that they experience on the street. Just your regular victim blaming misogynist on cam. In another, the man shared a hot take saying that virgins are the only acceptable thing to marry. Well then, that means he's off the market, right? What a loss. And there's more. In this quirky little clip, he refers to childless women as a miserable, ignorant bitch. Thanks for letting us know. So you see why it's a problem having content like this littered across the internet for individuals to consume and get influenced with? Next, which guidelines does this go against? Okay, all right, this is a very obvious question to ask, but in this day and age, you need to know which guideline you're reporting certain content for so that your report will be taken seriously. So let's get into it. As an inclusive and supportive network, TikTok claims to forbid content that praises, promotes, glorifies, or supports any harm harmful ideology, including misogyny. After being made aware of the videos recently, the network promptly removed them, permanently banned two accounts, and announced that it was investigating all the CCDH research results. They also made it absolutely clear that this content is not allowed on their platform and that their community guidelines expressly call out misogyny as a hateful ideology. The results from the CCDH were followed by an observer investigation in August that uncovered Tate, a British-American kickboxer, admirers willful manipulation of the TikTok algorithm to artificially enhance his material. Now, the research also showed that he's using Hustler University to forward his narrative. Yep, you heard us correctly. The CCDH and Observer Investigation revealed that Hustler's University, a money-making scheme focused on young men, also encouraged its users to publish films of him to attract referrals, whatever that means, right? But let us tell you exactly what that means. Members of Hustler's University were advised in one guide obtained by the observer to create films that would stir up controversy. Why? It's simple. To increase their chances of getting picked up by the algorithm and going viral. Ah, oh, the joys of technology. They actually had a straight up formula for the thing. Apparently, you want a mix of 60 to 70 percent fans and 40 to 30 percent haters. You want debates. You want to fight. And the sad part? It worked. The tactic resulted in the development of many copycat accounts, many of which featured videos of Andrew Tate making offensive or otherwise provocative remarks. And like a moth to the flame, the TikTok algorithm frequently promoted these videos to users, including young children. His TikTok videos garnered over 11.6 billion views by the end of August. Fun. Now, what happened after the results came to light? Like a knight in shining armor, following the observer's research, TikTok announced it was taking down violent accounts and content, including misogynistic material and copycat accounts that violated its impersonation policies. What's more? New Numerous accounts have apparently been publishing illegal content without being noticed or being dealt with by TikTok, according to the CCDH research, which was carried out in October. According to Callum Hood, its head of research, the account appears to have been created to game the TikTok algorithm to push misogynistic content into people's feeds, get it racking up interaction, and make Andrew Tate money because that's what it always comes down to, right? The CCDH team assembled substantial evidence, 
of unlawful content in two days. And if it took their team two days to discover the problem from outside of TikTok, it shouldn't be difficult for TikTok to figure it out from the inside, right? Now, Andrew Tate has gathered enormous global attention this year and stirred discussions about free expression and destructive content. Tate, who was born and raised in Luton and now lives in Romania, has stated that he was only kidding when he made extremely misogynistic remarks. He claims that online sensationalism has purported the idea that he's anti-women when nothing could be farther from the truth. Um, okay, so which one isn't? Now, it doesn't end here. It seems like Andrew Tate and his band of men are making new norms, and not the good kind. According to Ruth Davidson, CEO of the domestic violence charity Refuge, the content they share or promote runs the risk of normalizing abusive behaviors. Now, it may seem like lighthearted banter or your run-of-the-mill locker room talks, but it fosters a culture in which violence is tolerated and even encouraged. She urged the legislation to hold social media companies accountable for damaging information, including online misogyny. She continued that she'd love to see platforms take more action on their own, but they won't because they'll lose their competitive advantage, so it needs to be the government. Coming up, why isn't Andrew Tate on any mainstream social media platforms? Following suit from TikTok, similar actions were taken by Instagram and Facebook. Meta said two weeks later that it had blocked the official account belonging to Tate for violating its policies on material that insults, threatens, incites violence against, or otherwise dehumanizes an individual or a group. While it did not issue a total ban, videos of him are still permitted on the surface as long as they adhere to its rules. The platform declared it was working to improve its enforcement and detection systems. But where did this guy Andrew Tate even emerge from? The short version of the whole thing is that Tate, a 35-year-old, is a misogynistic self-help guru. Yes, a guru who encourages young men to leave the matrix and become their own men. Recently, Hustlers University, an online program that gave lessons on cryptocurrency, stock investing, and freelancing, was his primary commercial endeavor. Josh Roos, a political sociologist who specializes in extremism and masculinity at Deakin University, spoke on the rising anti-women right-wing extremism that we're seeing and shared that he's the entire package. Andrew is encouraging rage in order to counter the feelings of unease. And we're sad to report that the man hasn't limited himself to just talking. Yep, in an older YouTube video, Tate claimed that Romania's laxer sexual assault regulations were 40% of the reason he relocated there. Now, he may refute it or say his words are being twisted and turned, but at the end of the day, he said what he said. Next up, what was Andrew Tate's reaction to being banned? Well, apart from the 12-minute, 55-second video that the former boxer uploaded explaining to everyone just how much he didn't care about social media, he's still popping up here and there. After he was apparently banned from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch due to statements he made regarding women, he has since switched to Rumble, a video sharing website like YouTube that takes pride in being immune to cancel culture after getting kicked off of certain platforms. More on that, a representative for Tate told Bloomberg that when social media sites removed him that although removing Andrew Tate from these platforms might seem to be the solution, this isn't the case. Tate's voice can't be silenced in order to create a society free of hate. But it seems like TikTok doesn't view it that way. A corporate representative stated that misogyny is a terrible mindset that is not tolerated on TikTok. Following the meta ban, they released a statement saying that they've been taking down offensive videos and accounts for weeks. So it's encouraging to hear that other platforms are also taking action against this person. That's a wrap. Let us know in the comments what you think of Andrew Tate and all that he represents. Is banning him the one cure-all or not? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.